Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Speed Team Percent. It's just getting worse. Yeah, I'm not visiting her again. Hello again, Melody. Did you sing Vivence's song today? Yes, I did. How did you feel about it? It was quite fun. It was way too hard. And also not easy. Yeah, she did make it quite difficult. I'm impressed you got through it, actually. Hammer is always talking about challenges and acting tough. How he's most excited when he has someone, he has to wrestle with something really hard. I think he believes his son is the hardest. And it makes me laugh because most of us got through it without too much issue. But some of us still struggle with vivences. She doesn't see it as being hard though, she just thinks it's fun. I think all songs are fun if you give them a chance. Wait, sorry, my chords are tangled? There we go. Can I keep mine easy? That's my idea of fun. Whoops. No, no. No, I accidentally... No. Oops. I think I... Hmm. Okay, this, this shouldn't be a problem. Yep, yep, this, okay, this is something I really do like about this recorder. It's just like, ah, your game crashed in the middle of it. No problem. Okay, so we just skip this. Fast grotto. So did Vivid's convince you about the value of life, the joy of smiling? Did she tell you about how she used her positivity to bring music into the world where it deprived her of hers? She did tell me about that, yes. Isn't it an inspiring story? She's done nothing but impress me at all the time I've known her. Which is quite a while. She's the first Sindral who took me up on my offer to an extended life. Most Sindrals I approached, or, or Imi, would have none of it. They thought I was insane, a liar. But she was all positivity, so bright. I felt warmer just being in her presence. She told me she'd love to live more than she... So then she could sing more. Her presence and her voice made my first winter with company a joy rather than a thing to endure. With so much time on our hands and easy report, we both got to experience so many facets of life while the world was sleeping. Ah, uh, yes, ah. Uh, it was quite the tragedy when her voice began to fade. I didn't know what we'd do. Music was so dear to her. It was everything to her, and it was slipping away. I started doubting myself, wondering whether trapping her in a life without what was for her was life was a cruelty, not kindness. But she surprised me immensely. She never stopped smiling. She just let her light guide her towards new possibilities. She made instruments, not just for herself, but for me too. Oh, I've never actually done your song, have I? That's probably the last one. As an innie who had never before sung, I got to experience what she lived for, and I could feel so clearly why she did. I mean, I was awful at first trying to create music. <laughs> Thank God you don't have to have that inflicted upon you. But with time and practice, such pleasant practice. I got the hang of it, and now I can't imagine life without music. 
I hope that you've come to appreciate its pleasures and value yourself. You've certainly done a good job of experiencing everyone's songs. You'll be singing again tomorrow, yes? Best get some rest to feel refreshed for that. Well, I didn't get my face smashed by a fish person, surprisingly. The person I did meet was actually really nice. She was like so brightly light that the darkness couldn't even touch her. So even when she lost her voice, she just kept smiling and it all worked out well. Really inspiring. Maybe I should try to smile more. Smiling just makes me look even stupider than I did already. And it feels fake. There's nothing to smile about. I'm only pretending. Why bother? Smile. There's only one thing worth smiling about. Me dying? That's the only way I can make anyone smile. Nobody wants me here. What? That's awful. I'm awful. Which is now nobody wants me here. Smile. They all dance around my dead body singing about how I'm gone. And now they don't have to deal with me anymore. Except they wouldn't be singing because they've lost their voices. Which I will eventually too and then I'll be worthless. Except I already am worthless so... I really need to get up and try to sing with someone else. And I'll approach them with a smile and they'll smile and we'll sing. It'll be fun. Ugh. They'll sing a con called Melmoly is Dead. And also I don't know how to say her name, which is really annoying like she is. But they won't even be able to get through it without quitting. Because it has me in it and nobody can stand even the thought of me. I'll go to the other side of the island again and see who else I meet there. Lost. Hello, Memody. When I welcomed you into life five days ago, as I'm sure, given your circumstances, how well you'd fare, you should have just thrown me back into the sea. But I'm telling you this because I have, I see I have nothing to worry about. You've sung with almost all the winstrels so far, I'm very impressed. There's just course left now, yes? She's the newest addition to our group apart from yourself, of course. She joined just before the previous winter. She's mostly kept to herself practicing her new instrument from what I gather. She was still working on her song last I heard. I haven't had a chance to play it myself yet. She's had days to work on it so she'd be ready to share it with you. You're quite lucky there. Yours are, the f be, are to be the first ears to hear it. You'll find her on the other side of the island. Her tent is close to Vivens. Good luck. Hello, Memody. How are you? Why does she ask that? It's not like she actually cares. It's just as fake as smiling. Um, it's day five. It's day five. Yes, the winter is almost here. The six days are almost up. Do you know about the gods? Has anyone told you about them yet? Um, I don't know anything. That's okay. I want to tell you anyway. The gods, the Alona, the ones who created our world of Alora Fane. They used to watch over us, but something happened and they disappeared. I don't know the details, unfortunately. But I wonder if the world is sick because they're not here to look after it. Maybe in their care, there were no winters. There might have even been no death, even. We can only speculate, but that's the feeling I get. In a way, we Winstalls are trying to take the place of the missing gods by helping people live longer. At least that's what Hearth said. 
It's such a strange thought. I'm no god. But I wish we could do more to help heal the world, too. It's not just syndromes who die in the winter. All the animals do, too. I feel quite sad about... I feel sad about that quite a lot. I get the feeling the winters are natural since... Like... If all the animals die every six days, they've got to be adapted to come back from that. You're off going off to sing with Course today, aren't you? I hope she'll let you. She kept her song to herself so far. Do you want to sing with me? I'll always be here if you need me. I was thinking, uh, did you not notice the bones scattered around this cave when you first came to see me? They're probably syndrels he killed. They'll probably kill me too. Yay. I won't have to do it myself. I'm not really even sure what bones are. Hmm, really. I suppose it's an odd thing to know about. They're parts of our internal skeleton. So they're not something you normally see unless you are uh, saw something dead. The bones in this cave, they were here when I arrived. I didn't kill them, or uh, their original owners, I mean. I might like the dark and death, but not in that way. I, I've been worrying probably way too much that you thought I was some kind of brutal killer. <laughs> I hadn't even thought of that. Oh, uh, good then, good. I know that the others are put off by reminders of their own mortality and uh, fragility like these bones, but I actually quite like having them around. They remind me of what I got, what I'm not, at least not yet. Vivens built my xylobone instrument out of bones at my request. I feel like I'm giving them new life in a way. Uh, Vivence liked it when I put it like that. Well, I like your instrument. Maybe I'll get to have a go on your bone one day. Haha, <laughs> well, I wouldn't want you to resort to that just yet when there's still the pleasure to be had from using your mouth. Singing, obviously. Uh, I find it interesting how syndral bones are made of the same wood as the uh, plants and trees. Not really seen as they grow out of, like, plants. Isn't that a thing? I'm pretty sure that was a thing. They're so different to us, the plants, but we're so similar inside. I suppose there's something significant there, uh, probably. So is there anything more to do? It's not moving up and down, so I assume not. Oh yeah, I'm not level 20 yet. about you from Vivence. She told me that you're quite the gift with singing Cinderella songs. Then she's a liar. I already knew she was, though. I mean, she thinks life is good and worth smiling about. I mess up songs constantly and barely know what I'm doing. Um, also, I should ask to charge gems with her. Hello, I'm a Memody, and also smiling. I see, I see, your mem memory? <laughs> I doubt that's a name I'll soon forget. I wish I could forget memory because it's not my name. It hurts. Memory. Maybe it does fit me then. Except that I'll be forgotten when I die, which will be soon. Ah, uh, I'm called Course. 
I would have come to meet you sooner, but it doesn't really matter. You have made your way to me, I see. Truth is, I barely budged here since these six light days began. I'm quite out transfixed by how the water flows in this simple stream. I never doubt where it will flow. It always knows where it must go. I envy it for that. You're new to life, is that correct? I wonder, how has it... has been treated you so far? I hope you found a source for joy, a cause to be awake. That's something to smile about. Because it's so hilarious in its not trueness. Well, music seems to be the way the others there say. I'm still yet new to long-lived life, to living as they do. It would be swell if we could share our sounds as two who are both new. But I know from my own concerns how deep blue moods can drown desire. I do not want to force you to do something you won't like. So if you're feeling well enough for us to join in song, Yes, it's fine. I'm fine. Life is just great and I love it so much. If I just finish this song quickly, then maybe I won't poison her with my presence. I see. I feel our courses quite diverge on love or living life. I had a clearer course before a reason why I'm here. But now life seems so murky and its light eludes my eyes. Perhaps in some I won't find a way to pass beyond this fog. Yeah, we should probably end it here. So, bye everyone.